Hey guys, it's Josh. I hope you're having a good day. So I'm back in Chandler, Arizona, testing Waymo versus Tesla FSD beta round two. Let's get into it. So the Waymo trip, the trip itself went well. I had a very odd customer service issue afterwards that I'm gonna keep, uh, I'll keep that for its own video, so make sure to check that out. Um, or keep waiting if I haven't posted it yet. It's interesting, it's, it, the please keep your hands hasn't gone away. And so the other nice thing about those arterial roads, there, it, there's only a light, I guess there's a light each one. So it's like 10 normal city blocks. So right now we're in the middle of one of the arterials and we just have to wait for the light to turn red over there. And then we'll get a clear spot to um, to go out. And should go, should go. Please go, thank you. Very good. And so that is different from a place like San Francisco that's single city blocks and with a light on each one. Uh, in that case, you might not necessarily get a time to go. It'll be harder to find a time to get into traffic. So it's really the ideal place for uh, an autonomous vehicle. And I see why Waymo selected Chandler as their preferred uh, launch site. Now the flip side of that is you get relatively low taxi demand because it's so easy to drive. There's lots of parking everywhere. As a matter of fact, so we want this far right lane. It's putting the blinker on and it's quite awkward through the bus lane, but got the job done. If there was any traffic, that might have been problematic. But anyway, there's plenty of parking here, like parking garages and, and whatnot. Um, so it's a nice place to drive, not, not so much taxi demand. Okay, I almost had to press the pedal there, but I didn't. So my intention is to not uh, intervene in any way so that we can get a fair comparison with the Waymo. So as of yet, I haven't pressed the pedal or anything. I might use the blinker, um, probably not, but sometimes I like to, when the car, when I think the car is gonna change lanes without signaling, I'll, I'll just do a quick signal ahead of time. And that's like maybe one second before the car will actually signal. I'll just do one, one blink, um, just to signal to our other drivers. So I have to apologize. I, I can't imagine this will be a terribly interesting ride just because it's so easy to drive here in, uh, in Chandler. I guess they're 40 miles per hour. And sorry, there are two lanes in each direction, not three lanes. <laughs> that was close. It's quite a nice layout. Um, it does feel like very cookie cutter, you know, like uh, contrived or not as authentic, original, etc. But it's quite nice infrastructure for driving around on. And it looks like we have a left in about a mile. So that'll be our next interesting point. So I don't know why I got in the right lane there because the right lane is going to end. Although we did get maybe past a couple cars here. <laughs> but I really wish it hadn't done that because I'd rather it didn't uh, merge, you know. So we're gonna have to merge up there, but no problem. Oh, 
cards here. Play as well. Oh, don't want that. I, I don't like how it just did that, but it's no problem. It merged like pretty close uh, in front of the Kia and then it put the right blinker on for probably because it thought it it thought there was a lane to the right it needed to get into. Uh, that was not good. Um, you know, that was not courteous to our fellow road users. Um, no problem in this case, but. It looks like we want to go left in half a mile on West Warner. So we're going to want to start thinking about moving over. Decided to, it's 94 there. Decided to move over, there's no traffic in the left lane. Nice lane change. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of the Volkswagen ID4s in California, so pretty excited. I haven't gotten a chance to drive one. Uh, typically, I'll rent any new interesting EVs. Okay, getting into the lane to turn on Warner. And so far so good, guys. Looks like uh, just four minutes left. Not much to it. A little slow to go, but no problem. And let's see, there's not much for painted lines here in the intersection, but did a great job. It did have the one uh, line to follow, but. for a long way. You know, the traffic here, at least when I've been here, uh, it doesn't get bottlenecked. The traffic tends to travel in packs or in packets or however you want to call that, groups. So everyone will bunch up at the red light, the light will go green, that whole packet will go through and that's all the traffic traveling through the to the next light because the lights are pretty far apart. It's kind of interesting. But unfortunately, it doesn't make for the most interesting footage. Matter of fact, I don't know if I'll even post this as a standalone video, guys, so I might just be talking to myself. Probably am. Okay, scooter guy. HRV. I thought maybe it would slow down suddenly with the HRV getting close by, similar to whatever that car is. I'm uh, sorry, I don't recognize it. Nope, no problem. I guess that's a Hyundai as well. And it looks like our left is coming up soon on North Bull Moose. Probably this lane here. And braking really hard there, guy. I don't like that. But no problem. It was not smooth and there was someone pretty close behind us. We're just waiting to turn left here. I'm gonna try to do this without using the accelerator. There's a Subaru also trying to turn left there. Okay, nice. 
Oh, not too close. Ish. Okay, no pedal, guys. I thought I'd have to, but I didn't. But it was another second than I would have. And then it did cut a little close to the Subaru, but. And here we are on Temple. So I think this is it, guys. Yep, one more turn. Great. so there you have it this round goes to Waymo as well so it's two to zero in Waymo's favor during my testing uh, basically the same route for both cars uh, both completed the route with no problem but the Waymo went about 40 seconds faster so leave me a comment let me know what you think and if you have any ideas about content to do in this area I'll be sticking around Chandler for a few weeks so please do let me know and until next time I'll see you then cheers